All this behind me has got to go. I, I've been using it for a very, very long time. I mean, it doesn't even look like this. Hang on. All this behind me has got to go. I've been using it for way too long. I've literally used it since the beginning of the channel. And I feel like I've reached a point where I want to do something a little bit different. Now you may or may not know this about me because I've always kept it a really good secret, but I'm a little bit of a Trekkie. I know, but uh, gave it away, right? But I've always had this idea on my head that I would eventually turn this studio into Picard's ready room from the Enterprise. And I am deadly serious about this. And I don't mean like exactly the same. I have ideas about how I might modernize it. I think I will probably replace the salmon pink and maroon reds with creams and browns. And I'll have my own little keepsakes dotted around, but I do want to keep the general aesthetic. The only trouble is we have no idea what the ceiling is supposed to look like because obviously in the show, that's where all the studio lights are. So I was thinking, well, maybe I'll ask AI. So I got Photoshop to AI in the ceiling and, I mean, that, that spat out some kind of kebab shop neon sign. So, so that's Star Trek ruined. But I got to thinking, what if there was a window to outer space? I'm not on the Enterprise, so there's no reason that I can't have a window in the ceiling. This is my own ready room on my own starship. And with a false ceiling and today's sponsor, I think I can achieve exactly that. I am doing this. This is this is absolutely happening. Thanks to Pococo for sponsoring today's video and for sending me their slide projection planetarium. Unlike the cheap laser and LED projectors you see on Amazon, these aren't just little pricks of green light. Yes, I said little pricks, yes. Yeah. Get it out of your system. Dude, he, hey dude, he said little pricks, dude. This projector actually throws out real images of actual stars and planets that exist out there in the real universe. And they do so in 5K resolution. It's also battery powered, which means that you could literally take it anywhere you like. Have you always wondered what it would be like if you could poop by the light of the moon, but never had the courage to do so before? For Coco, poop wherever you damn well please. It's not a real advert. It does all this using these little disc slides, which slide neatly into the body of the projector. You can buy it in five different colors, black, two-tone blue and pink, silver, and white. The question is, will this work for my project? And the answer is, I have absolutely no idea. Let's find out. And also, why don't you subscribe and give me a thumbs up so that I can keep doing this for a living. YouTube is scary. The algorithm hates me. <laughs> Before any of you tell me how sexy my nails are, today's unboxing was conducted by my beautiful wife, who has been well trained by myself in the art of correctly unboxing technology products. Inside the box are two projection discs, a USB-C cable, and of course a Pococo projector with battery power, much to my wife's surprise. Oh. What surprised me about that clip, after 15 years of being in a loving relationship with this woman, was that she's now outed herself as a Swifty. Oh my god, I love Taylor Swift! If I'd known sooner, we could have both been listening to Taylor Swift. <laughs> Quite like Taylor Swift. The lens produces a really sharp image, which will be super important for my project because I want it to look as real as possible without having to install an actual TV in my ceiling. But it isn't all that bright. 
I think I can still work with this as long as there is a false ceiling and a bit of a recess, as most of my light will be coming from ambient light around the room. I've seen other YouTubers reviewing this product and they've just totally left that fact out. They're all just like, What's up YouTube, it's your boy Paul, coming at you with another review. Today, we're reviewing a Starlight Projector from Pococo, and I'm gonna be pimping my whole theater setup. Run VT, y'all! Yeah, um... I have this strange thing called integrity, where I have to actually be honest about a product. You see, the thing is, this is not bright enough for those purposes. Some of the slides, you might just about get away with it in a very dimly lit cinema room or home studio setup, I guess, but only very few of the slides will give you this ability, and I think they will be heavily washed out regardless. It's meant to be used in bed with the lights off, but with that said, if you do get it really close to the object that you plan to project onto, it's a lot brighter, and this is how it fits into my Starship Ready Room plans. Because it's meant for sleepy times, it actually has this fantastic feature that it is entirely silent. Like, you can hold this thing up to your ear, and even on rotation mode, when it's spinning the galaxy really slowly, you can't hear the motor running. It spins at a lovely pace, and the clarity of the image is pin perfect, something I should have probably realised when I read their marketing material. Three microns visible. Anyone? Who are they talking to? What? Anyone? Question mark? What? What does that mean? Are they trying to goad people into saying, WE DON'T BELIEVE YOU! Anyone? Anyone? We'll fight you. Sponsorship cancelled. Sponsorship cancelled. Sponsor the battery charges via USB-C, which you can just leave permanently connected, and this is obviously invaluable to me. But if you wanted to use it on battery power, it lasted well over an hour in my testing. And if you were using it to fall asleep, you could set the timer for 15 minutes each night, and this would last days on a single charge. You can buy loads of additional discs, but it only comes with two. It comes with a very cool and realistic starry sky called Diamond Stars, and a bonus Nebula disc. You can buy the additional discs, and there is quite a range of stuff. Some of it is clearly aimed at kids, but there's only a few that I really like. There are three buttons along the base, the left button is toggle on off, the center button rotates the disc, and the final button is a sleep timer which can be set to either 15, 30, or 60 minutes, depending on how many times you press it. Not useful for me and my project, but it will be useful for you if you're planning to go to sleep with it, because it is bloody awesome. Oh yeah! Or don't buy it if you don't like any of these things about it. This is my typical what's wrong with it section. I do it every video if you're new here because I like to tell you what is wrong with a product if a product ain't right. Subscribe if you think that's a good idea. So um, the first thing is this is definitely more of a nightlight for children or some kind of ambient light for sexy time. My wife's sexy time dance there. She, she loves it when I put that in the videos. Um, so what I'm trying to say is you're not going to use this in your gaming setup. It's not going to be bright enough for that. I'm personally going to use it for uh, bedtime and for bath time. It's really, really cool in my bathroom. Um, and eventually, of course, on my Starship. If you were thinking about using this for your gaming setup, it ain't bright enough. I think at £90, I would have liked to have seen some kind of smart home integration. This thing really is basic, three buttons, and you have to manually press them. And this will be a little bit of a problem for me. It doesn't come with a remote control, which means I can't use a Broadlink RM4 Pro to turn it on and off. And because it's battery powered, I can't even cut the power using a typical smart home plug socket. This is something I will personally have to rewire for you. You just need to decide whether pressing buttons is for you or not. Unless you can place it dead center in your room and square onto the ceiling, then some of the image will be out of focus. You can use the focus ring to get most of the image in focus, but the edges will always be slightly blurred unless that projector is entirely central. This is the case with any Starlight projector, and it's just the nature of the beast. The results, however, are still absolutely mind-blowingly cool when you put a decent slide in, even if you have it fully tilted all the way at its maximum angle. I absolutely love this thing, and when I eventually put this in my Starship, I will buy another one just for general use around the house. I love it that much. £90 is not cheap for something like this, 
However, it is cheap for something in this category. If you go and look at other Starlight projectors, this is actually one of the very cheapest, and it does an absolutely awesome job. If you're interested in buying one, then as usual, there are links in the description as to where you can pick one up. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, it was brought to you by these incredible people. These people running up your screen are my patrons, and without them, there would be no video. I would still be working in a call center. If you want to be one of those incredible people, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I'll genuinely love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my Instagrams and my TikToks too, and it's not called Twitter anymore, it's called X. God damn it. That's it. See you next time. If she doubted herself sooner, we could have both been lift lifting. Oh my goodness. There is no way of saying that. Listening to Taylor Swift. Arr! What's up, you? Hmm. <laughs>